In this problem, we have to evaluate the cosine of 2 times the arctangent of 4 over 3. So to do this, we're going to use a trig identity. And there's several we can use, actually. So recall that the cosine of 2x, this is equal to, and the one I tend to remember the most is it's cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Right. There's other ones you can use. Uh, this is also the same as 2 cosine squared x minus 1. And it's actually also the same as 1 minus 2 sine squared x. So you can use any of these uh, in this problem. I'm just going to focus on this one because this is the one that I tend to memorize. And then I get these from manipulating this one. So maybe it'll be the case that you tend to also uh, memorize this one. So let's start by giving this a name. Now instead of calling it x, I'm going to call it theta because it is an angle. So we're going to let theta be equal to the arctangent of 4 over 3. Okay, that's our theta. And let's go ahead and apply our identity. So this will be the cosine of 2 theta now because we called it theta. And this is equal to cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. So all we have to do to finish is figure out what this is. So to do that, we're going to come back over here and we're going to use this equation to create a triangle for theta. Once we have a triangle for theta, we can figure out this piece over here on the right. So the arctangent takes 4 over 3 and sends it to theta. So it's an inverse function. So tangent should undo that. It should take theta and send it back to 4 over 3. And now we can use SOKATOA to draw our triangle. So SOKATOA. So remember this is opposite. So tangent is opposite over adjacent. So I'm going to go ahead and draw our triangle like this. And then here's our theta. And so it's opposite, which is this one, 4. And then adjacent is this one down here, so 3. And this is the right angle. So this is the hypotenuse, which I'll call b. I know people call it c, but I like to use little b. And now we can use um, the theorem of Pythagoras, which says that uh, b squared is equal to the sum of the other side squared, so 4 squared plus 3 squared. So b squared is equal to 16 plus 9, which is 25. So when you take the square root, um, you do get plus or minus 5, but we just take the plus, okay, because it's the length of the side of a triangle. All right, now let's fill in the answers here. So here we have cosine squared of theta. So cosine is ka adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's going to be the adjacent is 3, the hypotenuse is 5. So 3 over 5, and then it's squared, right? Adjacent is 3, hypotenuse is 5, 3 over 5, and it's squared. Minus, and then sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So it'll be 4 over and then 5 squared, because the opposite is 4 and the hypotenuse is 5. This will be equal to 9 over 25 minus 16 over 25. And how convenient, they have the same denominator, so 9 minus 16 is negative 7 over 25. Really nice problem, a little bit harder than some of the other problems you're probably doing if you're studying this stuff. Uh, it's kind of fun though, you get to use an identity and you get to draw a triangle, and it's, it's, it's kind of nice. I hope this video has been helpful.